The good news is with screening mammograms and early detection for breast cancer, as well as a lot of the new treatment therapies out there, many breast cancer patients can ex expect to live a long time. With this long survival, we have to look at the quality of life, how a patient feels about themselves and their bodies. With oncoplastic surgery, the surgery is planned so that the lumpectomy is performed and then the remaining breast tissue is reshaped in such a way to give um, a new shape and appearance to the remaining breast. The other breast is reduced in size to match that breast, giving symmetry, and this allows for a great overall cosmetic result. A candidate for oncoplastic breast surgery is somebody who does not want a mastectomy. Usually they have a larger breast cancer that can't be removed by a traditional lumpectomy without causing a deformity. They also have a larger breast, so usually a cup size larger than a size D, where surgery would allow us to reduce that breast to a smaller size and still allow them to keep their breasts and look good. Many times we work with our plastic surgery colleagues to design and perform a breast surgery that gives natural appearing results. As with any breast cancer surgery, the goal of the surgeon is to remove the cancer with a normal rim of tissue around it called a margin. This is healthy tissue that's around the cancer that ensures that we remove the whole thing. One of the risks is that during surgery, we're not able to tell 100% if, if all the cancer cells have been removed. The cancer goes to pathology and it takes them about a week to give us an answer of whether or not the cancer is fully out. Therefore, the biggest risk of this type of surgery is needing additional surgery to get better margins, better healthy tissue. For an oncoplastic reduction, the goal is to take a large amount of tissue the first time so that we don't have to come back. 